Hello, Phil Mann fans, and welcome back to Day of the Day Day with me, Phil Mann, in which I explain what the day of the day is today. Happy Inspire Your Heart with Art Day, everyone. Can you believe that Inspire Your Heart with Art Day has rolled around again? Art is the great communicator and the great leveller, and people from all different backgrounds, colours, creeds, upbringings that may not even speak the same language can all agree that a five-year-old could do art better than a professional artist. Nowadays, anything can be art. And, despite not having gone to art school, studied art, the history of art, or the current trends, attended any gallery openings, or even seen any art, anyone can be an art critic. It really is one of the most wonderful things about art, that people who would hire a contractor to paint a single wall in their house that's completely flat, just one colour, or wouldn't feel comfortable installing a water feature in their garden, become an expert in the application of materials and the implications of aesthetics the moment they step into an art gallery. And it's not just being an artist that five-year-olds are good at, they can do any job. Firefighter? A five-year-old could do that. HR director? A five-year-old could do that. Brain surgeon? A five, you get the picture. Would they be any good at it? No, but so long as the outer trappings are there to any amateur art critic, that's good enough. And presumably that's because most people are entertained by the output of five-year-olds. I mean, rambling lies, confused jokes that don't make any sense, temper tantrums. <laughs> that's why most people are fans of politics and this show. But for the rest of us that are happy to enjoy content without asking whether we could employ a five-year-old to take someone's livelihood away from them, we have Inspire Your Heart with Art Day. Every year, 20 million people die of heart disease because they didn't inspire their heart with art. Many doctors say, and this is genuine medical advice, that if you're having a heart attack, please go down to the White Cube Gallery and look at a sculpture made out of toilets. Why did this work? Well, the heart has a section called the uh, aorta, aorta, which is actually a piece of artwork in itself. Not only is it a beautiful sculpture, it's also incredibly ironic because it can never be seen as it takes place on the inside of the human body and if you take it out to look at it, you die. Art. What are some other forms of art? Woodenly pirouetting to the sound of the rock band Korn? That's art. Sealing your own waste product inside a can. That's art. Smearing paint on a piece of canvas so it looks like a ship in a storm. Art, apparently. Not even a real ship. Many people nowadays complain that art isn't realistic, and that's because in the past they used to paint pictures of bowls of fruit that everybody loves. But you go to the cinema nowadays and what do they show you? Star Wars. There's nothing like a bowl of fruit. It's not realistic at all. It's like abstract. It's expressionistic. It's not realistic in the slightest. They've got lasers and and the people don't even look like people. They look like small rats or big blobs or something. Honestly, a five-year-old could do better. Especially my five-year-old son that I forced all day every day to learn how to paint photorealistic impressions of bowls of fruit instead of enjoying his life, his time with his friends and doing his schoolwork. Happy Inspire Your Heart with Art Day, you idiot. Thank you.